And let's take a look at Andrew Castro. Going to try to shut this uh, Mariners lineup down a little bit, but he's going to have that two-seam fastball on his last start. Only pitched four innings, but he had six outs on the ground. Only two fly balls. So a good sign for Kastner. And if there's a pitch in the middle or outer third, that's where he's going to drive the ball. He can hit him about as hard as anybody in the game. Driving that way, backs it up, and then reacts in. That'll go to the hole. Scope, who's shifted over, makes a long throw and gets it there just in time to record the out. And let's take a look at Felix Hernandez. Pitch arsenal. Now he has got him on everything. And a kitchen sink right here. But his changeup sinker combination, pretty devastating. Both two seamers, both have good sink. Both right on the plate on uh, just a few miles an hour slower. Mix in all of his pitches. And if he can do that, he'll be as tough as ever. But that's easier said than done. And a foul tip and held on to for the strikeout. So Hernandez gets the K. No runs, one hit. So a big pitch here in the second inning, early moment of importance. 3 2, runners going, he's got a base hit up the middle. Span will score, Havarn will score. Throw comes into second to hold him to a single. So he comes through 3 and 2, and Gordon gives Seattle a 2 0 lead. Well, impressive AB right there, just kind of forcing Castro to throw strikes. It's still a 3 2 count, and Castro's going right down the middle, a little gut ball. And uh, Gordon's not going to try to do too much, just slapping it right back through the box. Take a look. Four seam fastball, center cut. So now the sacks are full with two down. And here's Hanniger, their number three hitter, pops it up. Chance to get out of the inning, man. He says, I got it. And he does. Seeger and Healy to follow. Another big cut with that ball, had some drop on it. Well, nice slider. First idea is safety to protect that jaw from being hit on the side of the face. Yeah. Pitch on the way and a swing and a foul tip that ends up in the mid. He gets him. Castor gets his second strikeout. So that he couldn't see anything above. <laughs> it forced him, right? So there's something to that, obviously. That? To try to uh, limit your vision, have that one uh, eye rate on the pitcher. And he got him. He lowered his earned run average. He built. Uh, some more trust from Buck Show Walter. Next thing you know, he's been pitching in some high leverage situations. That's a base hit into center field by Trumbo. Making the turn, Manny, he'll stay. Meridia gets it back in. So Trumbo is on, and the Orioles with one away here in the fourth inning and down a couple have two on base. 3 2 delivery. Davis will swing and miss at 80, slowed it down even more. One ball, two strike out. And Mancini goes down. Foul tip held on to. Jonathan Scope in the end of left field. Got a lot of that one. Going back is Span looking up. And goodbye, home run. The Orioles are on the board as Jonathan Scope delivers number eight. And it's two to one. All right, Jonathan. Talking about him uh, needing to heat up. Would have been that home run right there. That Helps him relax. Of course, he was out early with Coach Scott Coolbaugh taking some early batting practice. And maybe just that extra round helped him out a little bit. 102 miles an hour off the bat. They yep. just bopped and they kept bopping. Well, when our boppers aren't bopping, <laughs> we're not scoring. That one is hit high in the air to right field. Speaking of bopping, Rasmus going back at the wall and goodbye home run. Up onto the flag court, Denard Span delivers the long ball and gets that run back and a 3 1 Seattle lead. Boy, moonshot right there from Span. Seventh home run of the season for Denard Span, and there's that player we were talking about. A one strike count and a hard hit ball. That ball's going to go to short. Chance for one. They'll get one at second base. RBI will be picked up by Trey Mancini Segura with a fine play to prevent that ball from going into left field. Boy, that was a beauty right there. Jonathan Scope. Yeah, right off Hernandez. Barehanded Segura and another great play. They get an out. A run will score. 3 3 ball game on a smash by Scope. It came off Felix Hernandez. Wow. Miguel Castro coming in out of the O's bullpen. This will be his 31st appearance. A couple wins with a 2 5 1 
earned run average. Got 31 punch outs in his 46 and two thirds innings of work. Castro slinging it from the side. Ooh, another one that bounced away and the run will score. Caleb got a glove and a shin guard on it I believe and just couldn't get it in the glove. It'll be a wild pitch and a run scores. 2 2 delivery on the way in the air center field it'll get a run in Adam Jones the catch both runners tagging throw is coming to third base won't be in time. So Hanniger gets it done productive at bat RBI sack fly. D. Gordon scores, and it's a 5 3 Seattle lead. And take a look at Tanner Scott's numbers on the year. 18th appearance out of the O's bullpen, a seven earned run average. He's been getting uh, roughed up a little bit, but not so much here at his home ballpark. 2 6 1. 0 2 delivery. Seeger will get down swinging. So Scott getting what the Orioles hoped he'd be able to do right there. Runners off first and third, and he gets him as well. And Brad Brock now into the ball game, 32nd appearance out of the O's bullpen, 3-9-0. Earned run average uh, back and forth with that ERA this season. Uh, gave up a couple runs in his last outing. Runner goes, ground ball, chopper, tough play. Going to go to first, and Scope makes it. The big arm of Jonathan Scope, and they get Segura out of there. Take a look at Alex Colomay's uh, numbers on the year, 34th appearance. Of course, uh, he's brought over. The uh, trade to Seattle. And the battle won by Colome. Yeah, a little slider right there, 91 miles an hour. Colome really having to work here, and Davis down and in. Play made on the throw by Herman. Darren O'Day now into the ball game. Uh, 19th game of the season for O'Day. Of course, uh, stint on the disabled list. A 2.70 earned run average. Got the 27 punch outs and 20 innings of work. There's nobody out here. Three and two. Double play depth in the infield. There he goes. Ball popped up this time. Playable. Chris Davis will put it away. And that battle won by Darren O'Day. Hanniger goes back to first base. Oh, impressive effort right there by O'Day. Get some quality pitches all the way through. Yeah, you got to do a lot to get that guy out. And O'Day talking to the home plate umpire. He's upset. And he's out of the game. Darren O'Day has been thrown out of the game. Look at O'Day. Himself into his delivery. Who called the ball? Yeah, I, right? I don't know. The home plate umpire did not call the ball while we were watching. Wow. Then now Buck's thrown out. Zach Britton has now come into the ball game to do the pitching. O'Day was thrown out. Man. Loaded again here in the ninth. Span a chopper. Britton, Joseph. Double play. Outstanding work. Yeah, onto their closer, uh, Diaz. Boy, what an arm he's got. Loose and live. 27 saves on the year. He's got a 277 earned run average, though. One two delivery and that's what he does. One two delivery on the way but it's not going to happen. So Diaz comes on he will pick up the save and Seattle will pick up the win. A tough one as the Orioles battle back to get it tied but could not go beyond it as the Mariners come away with a five three win here in game one.